guys, it's Saturday and look at me. Oh, I'm Saturday here. It's like 9.30 and I want no part of being up. But I'm grown, so I gotta get my life right. Look, I'm right again. This is my morning face. I look better later. I'll show you after I get ready. We're gonna go to the boat show today. So anyways, I still have some jicama from when I did the jicama fries. I'm going to make a jicama hash this morning and I thought I would share. So if this video is on my YouTube channel, the jicama turned out wonderful. If not, <laughs> we all know what happened. I mean, I loved it as a French fry. Let's see what we can do with it as a hash brown. But I did read up a little bit about par boiling it. So I'm gonna use my cast iron. I'm gonna cut it into the cubes that I want and then I'm gonna parboil it, drain it, and then fry it. So that is supposed to be the bee's knees of what you're supposed to do to get it crispy and delicious. So I'm gonna point you down at the burner like I always do, which I don't know if you like that or not. Um, I get the most views on my grocery hauls and the one like what I ate in a day, I don't know why I can't get it together, but we could make this a what I ate in a day. How about that? What I eat in a day? Well, let's make breakfast. Hickama hash. Okay guys, we have our hickama here. I'm watching Daniela's diary. Yeah, she is she, live um, right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put her link to her channel in the description box. I think she just gave Misty a shout out to y'all. Put her down there. I love watching Misty. So the good thing about jicama is when you cut it and you put it in your refrigerator, it doesn't turn like a potato. It's just, ooh, sorry. Awesome, new knife set. Aren't they nice? Wow, ninja knife. I thought I would do some, and this could probably be done on the, I think those are a little thin. Oh, we just knocked Danielle over. Pop socket life. Let's make them a little bit thicker. Good night. I am not, I am not rocking it here. It is a little tough to cut through, so I'm sh super sharp knife. So, here's a fun fact. Um, you might want to know what this is for sure. That would be really fun. I have color pricey right now. It's like so Okay, so I'm just going to cut this in to some strips and then into some cubes and we don't want them too big. I'm gonna try to get them most of the same size. Okay. All right, well, I'm just gonna continue to do this and watch Danielle. She's not coming to KetoCon, super disappointed. I guess she thought you needed to be invited. But I'm gonna send her a DM on Instagram. I'd love to do a collab with her. That would be fun. I need to start doing collabs because apparently that's how you grow your channel faster. But gotcha. okay. Well, I'll see you back in a few minutes. Hey guys. Okay, I'm still watching Danielle. I'm going to let her know that I'm giving her a shout out while I'm making my little breakfast video. Let's make sure this is on. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put our jicama cubes. And obviously this is not all for me. This would be way too big a portion of jicama for one person. Uh, so I'll either meal prep it at, in containers and put it up for tomorrow for breakfast or somebody else is going to have to help me eat this. So I'm going to chop up some onions. We're not going to do that until after we parboil. Let me shorten this leg here. Ooh, yeah, my great camera skills. Anyways, so I'm gonna move you over here. I'm gonna go ahead and get, it, get my burner on. And I'm gonna leave it like probably medium high. And I'm gonna dry fry these just for a few minutes and then I'm gonna put some water in here. So we're gonna kind of simmer these um, in some water while we get our hickama on. I have another, ooh, I have another hickama that I might like, I wanna try hash browns. 
but I use them often. So, you know, that's one of those things where, like, I'm just gonna find some of the bigger ones. Like, if someone buys anything, I get like a dollar. It's not like it's like you were like, how much money are you making if you sell these things? I get a dollar if you buy like a so that's where you but if you get enough affiliate links then you get more money so you're going to get and it's kind of like a thing so if you get good views maybe you can make you know more than 50 bucks a month off of just views and then say you get three or four sponsorships depending on your growth size so there's something called social rule book and that will tell you how much you can charge for um, dedicated videos you just can mention in a video you're doing on instagram Stuff like that, and that'll tell you what you're at, um, what you should go ahead and charge. Mm -hmm. So you can see, for a channel of my size, you can roughly anywhere from 32. Is it down already, babe? I'm trying to power wash your car. I'm mean, just on the outside. I'm not doing the inside yet, so I gotta do my outside. All right, I'll leave. It no, babe, it's been low. Good morning. You know you're on the video, right? No. The one I'm recording. All right, so we're still watching her video. It's super good. She's giving us some tips. Right now we're still dry frying our jicama. I have salt and peppered it. And then I'm going to add our water in. And we are going to let this simmer in some water. Get back on that horse, girl. Oh, you're so welcome. I was just traveling in October. Southern Indiana. Southern Indiana, like Evansville, Southern Indiana. Like back in Kentucky. Oh yeah, so back to these, these things here. So you'll see these people and they'll get like a surge, right? And then they lose content. Because you can only watch somebody clean a clean house so many times. You can only watch somebody sit around their house and do nothing so many times. Girl, I, you know what, people always say like, oh, I'm not doing keto, but hunt me. I, I do keto because it works for me, but whatever weight loss journey you are on, we are on a journey together. No matter if I'm eating carbs or not eating carbs and you are, but you're still working at it, you're still busting your ass, you're still, you know, doing the moderation, you're still saying, okay, I'm going to make this better choice on this meal today. I am for it. I am in your corner. We are going to do this together. You guys, I mean, I know that this journey is hard. I tried it every way. Yes, girl. Tag me, tag me. So, you know, I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's, I'm doing it this way. That does not matter. When did you start? Start keto? Um, so when I started, are you talking about keto or YouTube? Which are you talking about? No, I don't. I don't have a good. Um, okay. Hey, so, anyways, also, thank you guys for knowing that was her being crazy because I wouldn't know how to kick you out. If anyway, so I'm letting gonna let this kind of simmer off the liquid, and uh, if it still has too much, when I think yes, that losing we're is done, losing. and, I, think and Weight Watchers is awesome. I will go My ahead and, Weight Watchers and she I will go ahead and pour it. off any additional liquid, and then I will. Uh, in the YouTube book. or Instagram. Um, I, Back to the question about when I started keto. So I initially started keto Ugh. two years ago. I love her. And I took a break from She's it. so fun. For about nine months. And her and advice about watchers, growing your channel is awesome. Did not work for I me. didn't even know um, about some of the stuff, it, like, the add-ons, and I'm willing to pay the money. So, um, I had a pressure cooker channel I before I had my keto channel, keto and, September, and I've been keto since. I mean, within a few months, I had like 180 um, or so subscribers. I haven't posted over there in a long time, but maybe I should go back. And post over there again or maybe invite some of those so people I mean, to come because I do I use my ninja foodie which box, is kind of a pressure and then I add a little more salt it helps dry things out and we need salt on a keto okay. diet so I, I, I like when people all right guys with me on so i'm going to videos. um put you on I'm like, pause for a minute while we just let this simmer just let here. it cook in the open air and boil some of this water out and let it let it let it uh cook out the most of the moisture and then i'm going to continue to watch danielle's live and i'm going to cut up some onions so we'll see you back in a few okay guys i added some olive oil I cooked off the liquid i didn't have to drain it it's just all cooked off so i get this in here 
I'm going to get this onion in here. I don't even know if I would even get one at this point. Because now, like, oh. I got kids now. They're older. Yummy, yummy. Tag, honey. Right. Quit. I'm going to wash some dishes. We're going to let this fry with this little, oop, man down. Oh my god, people play this all the time. I actually just said that in that video. So turning it down to the tag, so I'm gonna let this fry. I'm gonna add some eggs. And he makes me fill up a glass plate because he thinks the presentation's bad. He's like, you need to go ahead and fill up a glass plate for those people. That was tacky. He put it on paper plates, and I was like, I don't wanna wash that plate. <laughs> so if you see it on a real plate, that's real. Let me read these comments. Hold on. Oh, okay. I used to work with two people who were from Evansville. Um, one was named Stephanie, one was named Zach, so I don't know if you know him. I, I know it's a small town, but she's telling me to drive their tractors to school. Oh, cotton candy. I heard the cotton candy one is so, 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 so good. Um, but I don't like Talking about candy. me. So I don't know if I would like it. Oh my god, I think you look beautiful, Selena. The mushroom tea. That one tastes like dirt. That was all full sponsored video and they weren't happy that I said it tasted like dirt. They're like, you could have told us that you didn't like it. I said, well, I didn't know until I tried it. It tasted like dirt. He, he's like, and he, we have white square plates and then we have like a teal, like pioneer woman plate. And depending on, okay, Leo's um, like real into like, he's a meat manager. So he does a lot of presentation, you know? So he's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna better. And he like, he's so crazy. And like he, also, I gotta tell you guys a funny story. They have rock stars at Dollar Tree. I know that. I had the sugar-free white one. That one wasn't too bad. It tasted like uh, like a seven ounce. Um, see, so oh girl, thank you. They're like, like um, I guess it's supposed to go like that. They're like the ombre. Okay. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize I had that on at this time. All right, so those are frying. Oh my God, I would not I'm gonna put in I remember I used to do Jager some bombs. bacon. Yeah, I just chopped up raw. Yeah, like a spray. And we're just Absolutely. gonna fry Absolutely. that in here, and it's gonna add um, a little more grease to it. I think I might do another couple yeah, pieces. Yeah, I don't, I don't do that. I remember like Jager bombs or what helped me put them up in the first place. <laughs> 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 I love Jager bombs. I mean, I sounds. Yeah, I actually like those Smirnoff spike things. They're only one part. They're not too bad. They gave me heartburn. I'm gonna tell you, okay. Those Smirnoff things, they give me heartburn. Okay. Those those things, 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 they give me heartburn. Me All the your alcohol tolerance is super low, and the fact that you have to drink stuff at very high, like high value, like eighty percent, okay, or higher, very low carb. Like, like heavy oh my gosh, like I'm gonna make a comment. Okay. Let's comment when I tell them our drink. So one time, I was like having a couple cocktails and I was doing like vodka and diet, cherry seven up. And I don't know what happened, but I got like, I had like maybe two or three, I'm a lightweight as it is. And I got like, I had like two or three drinks. I stood up and I was hammered. I was like hammered drunk. Like, this wasn't that long ago. It was like maybe two years ago. And I was like staggering. I threw off all over my bathroom. I had to call off of work because I was drunk. And like, and I even told Leo, I was like, what the hell? Did you split me a roofie? And he's like, no, you lightweight. It was bad. Like I peeped all over my bathroom. I was like sleeping with my head in the garbage can. Like, I don't, mm -mm. Ooh, Leo likes whiskey too. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I actually had a Moscow, Moscow, Moscow meal. They were really good. I don't like beer, so. Oh, girl, I don't drink tequila. Mm -mm. It gets stuck right here. It burns, and I fell off every time. <laughs> I was so telling her to drink the Moscow meal. Because of the fact that he throws it every time he has tequila, so he just keeps trying. So. So, yeah, I like those smart off ones. They're low carb, so those ones are pretty good. Oh, God. It just burns. You can't have that. My sister-in-law and my brother-in-law, they love, like, cognacs. And they do, like, the Paradise one. I don't know why I'm leaving this recording. I have to trim it down. But I'm just interested in her show, so I have baking on my hands. So I'm not pausing the camera. I guess some editing is going to have to happen over here. No, we're not doing vacation this year. It's just, you know, graduation party. 
Yeah, this became the graduation party and All right. This is really coming along super good. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. The jicama is browning up. There is a serving size to jicama, so it's not like, okay, well, here's our substitute potato. Knock yourself out, eat it all. No, I want to say it was four ounces for a six net card. Um, what? When I did them in the air fryer, oh my goodness, they were so good. They were just, because they take a long time to cook though, they take a lot longer to fry up than a potato, so that's why I'm cooking the bacon with the jicama, adding some grease and also adding some flavor and then as well cooking them at the same time. So, saves time, saves mess, one pot wonder. We're going to scramble some eggs in this baby here in a few minutes, okay? So. I'm going to go ahead and let this cook probably for about another, like, 10 minutes, quite honestly. It takes a while for jicama to cook unless you, when we did parboil it, so it might be a little bit. It took me, like, 30 minutes to get the jicama fries all the way cooked in the air fryer. So, I did realize that the, this particular potato substitute takes a minute. So, I'll see you back in a few minutes. Okay, guys, it's been cooking for about, like, 10 minutes already. And uh, they're starting to cook down and get tender. I'm going to let them go just a little bit longer. There, I did taste one, and they're still got a little bit of crispy bite to them. But they taste amazing. So, just FYI, I had some, some negative reviews about, like, the radishes. Like, to me, it tastes like a potato. Like, but, again, if you've been on keto for as long as I have, things taste different to you. And in case also, someone else, it's just um, my opinion. So if you're you don't like it, don't make it, don't eat it. But I love you anyway. Okay. So anyway, I'm gonna let this cook just a little bit more. I'm gonna get my eggs in a bowl and start scrambling them up. And we're about to have this ash. Woot. Okay, guys. I am about to add my eggs. You see, I've gotten it nice and brown. The bacon super crispy, just like I like it. I have three pasteurized eggs scrambled up here in this bowl, and this is about to happen. They want to put me on lunch for every time, so that's why I just like bypass her. She, she's a, she's a pusher. She's an uh, uh, prescription pusher. But all right, I love a keto update. I did it, didn't I? You guys heard it? Keto update, exercise. Hey, if you guys slip up this weekend, it's all good. Don't worry about it, okay? I'm going to get these eggs it's fried, and then I'm going to add some up. cheese in here. I'm going to use some pre-shredded because okay. we're in the mix, and I don't have time. You know, that's the, the good thing about keto um, is, hey, girl, um, is you can pick it up right where it was. You know I what I mean? I prefer to use so my, think, oh my God, I all shredded cheese that I shred myself. But like we right. too far in the mix to pull out the grater. Should have planned ahead. I know, I know, I know. Okay, but this is what happens when you're not prepared on keto. You use less than your aspired options. Being on any type of weight loss journey is very, very, very hard during the summer. All right. Because there's always something going on. So we're going to just try to make the best choices. Get this going. Do not mentally abuse Gotta give Danielle props. She's been on here for a minute. But it has been thoroughly entertaining that I don't even want to turn it off because I'm still in my video. So. I just love her. So, She's I love so real. I'm gonna wrap this up. Oh my gosh. It's like, oh my gosh. I love you. Have a good weekend. Y'all my friends. Oh, I love and you so much. And so delicious. I mean, seriously. I okay, well, I'm about to Greek bust out some French toast for Zane while French I let summer. this just kind of, I'm going to turn off the heat. Chicago, pray no rain for next Everything Saturday. is cooked. And I will and next. we're going to have this like, Bye. like let this chill here for a minute and cool down. Uh, let's give it a, just a quick try. I mean, we gotta know, right? Right? We gotta know. Okay. So, like, be careful when you're tasting your cooking, which sounds kind of silly, but you can really stack your carbs up if you, like, eat a bunch. Hey, guys. Welcome back. My name is Danielle, and Ooh. today okay. we have a... That was a different video. Okay. I love her. She's great. And she's so right about people who get up in those high hundreds of viewer of uh, viewers the higher they get the days quitting their jobs and they're selling merch and they're selling products and then they have websites to buy keto this and that from affiliates and i mean i'm all about somebody making some money off of doing youtube because it's an investment like i have a tiny channel and i still invest several days of my week 
to just putting up videos for my little tiny channel, which is fine. Like I'm not, I'm not mad that it takes time to grow your channel. And yes, I have put some money in it. I bought this new camera. I've gotten tripods and handheld things and software to edit and you know, but it's fun for me and it makes me happy. And this is honestly, I know that sometimes I'll do my grocery hauls, I'll do some other things, but cooking this food and sharing it is my calm like you know shopaholics some people have um eating disorders which i had which i'm completely familiar with but when i'm cooking healthy food and i'm making things that make joy in my heart <clears throat> that's my youtube channel it brings joy to my heart it brings joy to my heart to sh to <coughs> sorry bring you videos and content and recipes that help you be on keto <coughs> be low carb be sugar free diabetic whatever situation you're in <coughs> and improve your life and if it's a hundred people or if it's a hundred thousand people I don't ever want to be anything else like I'm not trying to quit my job I'm not trying I just I just love to share and like if you come to my house I'm gonna cook for you I'm gonna feed you I'm gonna but I, you're eating keto I'm sorry if you don't like it but you know too bad so sad so let's take a taste <coughs> Mm. Okay. It's good. Does it taste like a potato? <coughs> Sorry. It tastes like an underdone potato, but it tastes good. I'm just saying season it well, and I will take this on my keto journey any day. And, oh my gosh, it's really, really good. I think it needs a little more salt, but... It's super good. We just have to watch our portion size. I'm putting some of this up for tomorrow. So now I'm gonna make French toast for Zane and I'm gonna figure out who I'm gonna binge watch next. <laughs> um, but this is super great. I'm so ready for KetoCon. I can hardly stand it. Um, I'm going to meet Keto Ginger while she's there. So I'm super stoked about that. And um, anyone else? Oh. Um, Autumn, watch Autumn Keto. She's coming too. Mm. For those of you who don't know, KetoCon is every year in Austin, Texas. And it's like a convention for keto. They have doctors that speak. They have vendors that come and set up booths like a trade show. And you just go through and you try all the samples and you get to see all the keto. So for those of us who don't get um, free stuff in the mail because our channel is not big enough. Well, I still get free Green Chef. But... Only because me and my group of friends that are keto continually share our free boxes, but they don't like to cook. So they just have their box into me. I cook it, they eat it. All right, so enough staring at my egg, uh, my pan. I'm gonna get some French toast busted out over here on my kamal. And, um, hey guys. All right, so my hash is done. I made Zane's French toast. Sid wants a piece of keto blueberry bread toast. So this is the blueberry bread that I get from Marina's Bakery and Events. And I know there's a lot of recipes out there. I think Keto Connect put out a recipe for a blueberry bread yesterday. So um, I'll check it out. This is $15 a loaf. So if it's cheaper to make it myself, I will. But anyways, I'm going to cut some slices of this and I'm going to drench them in the egg mixture that I make for French toast, which is egg, vanilla, and cinnamon. And then I'm going to fry them up on my comal. That's what he decided he wanted instead of eggs ranchero. So I'm going to slice them off a few pieces of this sugar-free, keto-friendly blueberry bread. And I'm going to go ahead and put that. All right, guys. Here we go. So, yeah. You see my situation here? This is my jicama. I'm going to stop it. Like, I'm so bad. Okay, so I cut two pieces of the... Marina's Bakery Keto Low Carb Sugar Free Blueberry Bread and I'm going to dredge them. I don't think I have my camera up high enough. Hold on. Let's fix our... Yeah, I know. I'm not the best camera person, so I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. What? Hi, people. Zane says hi, people. Hi. I'll pan over there in a minute. Right now, we're going to figure out this French toast situation. So, I have one egg. I've scrambled in this bowl. I put some cinnamon and vanilla in it. And then I have some kind of thin pieces of this blueberry bread. 
I'm just gonna quickly, cause they will soak up the egg quickly. And then throw it down on my kamal. And do the other one. Ooh, we left the blueberry behind. That's all right, we'll get it. I like to just pour a little bit of extra egg if there's any left over the top. I mean, like why waste it? Like it's gonna cook into the bread anyway. So that's what I do. So I'm gonna go wash this off. So we'll just keep our eye on this and I'll flip them over and then Sid will have this with some sugar-free syrup. He is a diabetic in case y'all didn't remember I mentioned that earlier. So sugar-free, keto-friendly, blueberry french toast. Find a recipe for the bread. It won't cost you $15. Yeah. Here we go. With some sugar-free syrup. We're in business. All right guys, well it's Father's this weekend and he has just eaten his blueberry keto French toast. Zane is over here eating his regular French toast and he's been out helping his daddy clean the car. Why? What are you trying to earn? Tell them. What are you trying to earn? What do you need money for? Tell them. I'm going to leave the camera on until you tell them. Tell them. Zane, just tell them so I can turn the video off. Tell them. What do you need money for? Okay. It's, um, it's in a game. And it's called V-Bucks. There. V-Bucks. He wants V-Bucks. For what? What kind of game? Hey guys, I am snuggled up here on the couch. Apparently we're watching boxing, which is not my favorite thing to do, but I was uploading my Hikma Hash video and realized I didn't do an exit for that video, an outro or whatever it's called in YouTube land. So just so you know, that Hikma Hash turned out awesome. I did end up eating the leftovers a few days later. It reheated and it tasted awesome. I just put some extra cheese on there. It was really good. Um, <clears throat> have um another video coming at you later today which i filmed actually today that one was filmed last weekend so i just wanted to say thank you for watching and if you like these kind of videos please give them a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel hit the little bell next to it and as i always say thank you so much